Brad, say something. Something. <clears throat> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Keep. No, you, you're just, good, man. No, nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> you're all set. You're all set. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys ready to go? Oh, Come on. God's oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Alright, we good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You're good? You're good? Who's on first? What? Huh? Huh? What? What? Huh? Intro time. Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to another Versus video with Brad Nelson and Todd Anderson. Yeah. And all week we've been playing with new cards. Yeah. But we're going to play with some old archetypes. Sure. Yeah. I guess. New cards, old archetypes. Yeah, so um, that's bringing it back. Yeah, we're bringing it back. Time at the travel. End, yeah, at the end of the week we're bringing it back <laughs> with mono blue versus mono red. Now, uh, the Mono Red deck has changed a little bit, um, as we'll see in a second here. Same as Mono Blue. So let's take a look at the Mono Red deck, and then we'll get into uh, all the interesting things about both decks oh, once yeah. we just talk about how this deck hasn't changed at all. Oh, no. It's, well, like, you basically just have a, a new Rakdos Cackler. Yeah. Arya Samaru. Arya Samaru, yeah. But I'm just saying, if we're going back to Mono Blue versus Mono Red, basically just Rakdos Cackler. It is, and it's actually maybe slightly worse than a Rakdos Cackler since it maybe. is legendary. Yeah. I mean, Zergo in this timeline is, you know, a wimp. Like, I mean, wimp is strong. He, uh, whenever old, uh, what's his name, Colligan? Whenever Colligan comes, he's ringing that bell hard. Yeah. He's like, let's go! <laughs> Time to go! <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, We've got uh, two two for one mana, and in most matchups, the dash isn't even going to be that relevant. It's just I mean, another I, aggressive creature. I disagree. I think like there are, uh, I mean, especially against control decks, like dash is just insane. Mm -hmm. But in uh, a lot of top deck scenarios, when you're just trying to like rush your opponent, if you just draw this guy on, like turn four, and you can go like dash this, kill your guy, you know, I mean, even if he doesn't stay in play, like it's still fine. Yeah, uh, but all the name, you know, the the. Uh, the players that have been here for a while are still here with Swift Spear, Fire Jerker Seder, and Foundry Shirt Denizen. Uh, the last creature that is the new one is uh, Dragon Whisperer. Now, this is the the red creature that I think red decks have always wanted. Uh, what what was that one creature? Cargan Dragon Lord. Cargan Dragon Lord. He, ar he already knows where I'm going. No, I mean, I, I do my research. Yeah. I definitely spent 20 minutes Googling dragons yesterday. Yeah. Just in preparation for this, this set. I don't believe you. I don't believe me either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I love this guy because he is a 2-2 two, two for 2 that can get flying when it's needed, can pump when it's needed. It has the Fire Drinker Sater ability without the downside. Uh, and in random board stalls, which I don't know will happen, but if they ever do, his uh, third ability uh, could potentially dragon. win the game. So I'm really excited about Dragon Whisper in a Mono Red Devotion deck just because... Uh, now that we have uh, Dragon Whisper, Idol of the Great Revel, and uh, Mardu Scout, we now have the uh, like twelve two drop double red creatures, so we can go two drop into two drop into like Nykthos for five or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of cool. You know, we're still missing like Boros Reckoner, uh, you know, Frostburn Weird, like creatures that were a little bit, I guess, like better on the scale of like power to toughness ratio, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, Frostburn Weird I, and Burning Tremus area was like a big miss, but. We uh, we got twelve. I'm, I'm much more excited to <coughs> use his third ability with Nykthos. That is true. Uh, <laughs> but this is probably the the strongest card. Like Mardu Scout's great, but uh, just having the invasion in a red deck is really big. Especially since how many times have we played against Mono Red and they just can't find the extra two points to go with their lightning strike, and they have to top deck again. But then a Rhino would have killed them. Yeah. Now uh, low life totals is very threatening when it's guaranteed that they're going to deal two a turn. Uh, one thing that you can tell from this deck list is there is no Goblin Rabble Masters. Yeah, I mean, I agree to an extent because Hordling Alberus is so important against the other red-white decks. Like, when all the red decks are playing four Wild Slashes, Goblin Rabble Masters is a little worse. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I've, I've played red decks with just Hordling Alberus, and I've played red decks with both Rabble and Hordling Alberus, and when you're only playing 20 land, you basically just have to pick one. Yeah. And I think Hordling Outburst probably gets the nod since you have Stoke the Flames and everybody's playing Wild Slash. So. Yeah, it, it, it goes well with Stoke the Flames, Monastery of Spear, and Founder Street Denizen. Uh, but, and that's just it. Like, Outburst at least makes three tokens uh, that can attack the neck the following turn, 
Whereas Rebel Masters are so good that they push themselves out of the format. Yeah. And uh, there's decks that still want to play it, but those are decks that have, you know, a ton of removal spells to get through all the creatures. And right now, granted, like, that's probably a place to be since we have Roast that we'll see in the sideboard. But in the low to the ground mono red deck, I just, I wanted to try these two cards out and see what 16 one drops looked like. And the Rebel Masters felt bad on the list and felt bad when I was theorizing how the games are going to play out. Yep. One thing I, I think it might be worth trying, I've seen a lot of these uh, 20 land, mer like mono red burn decks, is uh, Goblin Heel Cutter in the three drop slot. Yep. Um, and I think he could do a significant amount of work since uh, he does like trigger Foundry Street and he has haste and can make the guy block. So, like, if your opponent plays an early course or crew fix or something, you just get to nug him for like five or seven. So. Yeah, I see you have the roasts. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's take a look at the sideboard, I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Transitions. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, so in the sideboard, uh, we've got a lot of cards that uh, have been in these sideboards for a long time. Arc Lightnings, Eidolons, Peak Eruptions, even the Perforos has been there. Uh, a lot of people have played uh, either Perforos or uh, Outpost Siege, and I'm more on the side of let's get them dead. Sure. Than, than play something because there's a lot of games where they get you get stuck on three mana and you finally play your siege but they have stabilized and now that card doesn't deal any damage. Yeah. Uh, but the new cards are the actually most exciting ones for red decks. We've got the Rhino Killer and Roast. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm I'm I don't know how to say it other than I'm just incredibly excited about this card because red traditionally has trouble dealing with giant toughness creatures and especially when they're like heavy creature based so because they need to like bust through the line. And Roast is just perfect. Like, people uh, in, you know, old red decks played, like, Flame Slash main deck to do stuff like that. And Scred Red was, like, a huge archetype, you know, like, I guess, what, eight years ago now or It was something? a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah, they're going to have to Google Scred. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it doesn't kill Stormbreath Dragon. It doesn't kill the Dragon Lords. But, you know, most of the Dragon Lords would survive Roast anyway, so it's not even a big deal. Uh, but Roast just seems like a perfect card for a red deck. Yeah, I mean, it kills the Coursers and the Rhinos that this deck has been... Uh, pretty much turning into red white just four. Mm -hmm. Like the red white decks that exist now are out of necessity. If you yeah, want to play red cards, you need the white cards to kill the rhinos. Yeah. And uh, now that the deck has red roast, uh, I can see red using different colors. Like for example, green red aggro could be an actual. Oh archetype. yeah, skull crack baby. Got yeah. that Atarkas command. Just boom. <laughs> yeah, you've got you've got skull crack. Also, just being able to like uh, boost your team when you're attacking. Oh yeah, dude, it it can deal so much damage. Mm -hmm. Like. It does three and then pumps all your guys. Like, that is a crazy amount of damage for two No, that, that is a card that I'm going to be exploring, uh, you know, not just in the first pack ah, because it can put a lane into play. Ah, there we go. That was not a pun that was intended. Yep. And then two uh, Lightning Berserkers as a card that I don't think is good enough for the main deck, but pr is that not the right name? Oh, no, I was going to say pun intentional. What? I meant. Did okay. I have another pun? No, but you said cause, I was. All right. Lightning Berserkers, great. It is great. <laughs> uh, just being able to dash for R means that any deck that's trying to wrath you after they wrath, every, oh, just fireball you every it's, turn. It's better than fireball. Yeah. <laughs> it's an actual oh, yes, deal for every mountain. Yeah, yeah it's Koth. Right. It's Koth emblem for a turn. Mm. It's pretty much Strong. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Except they can block if they have something to block. Yeah, with. that's what I was gonna say. Uh, but yeah, this card seems like a great addition to the red decks. But I don't want it in the main deck right now, and maybe it deserves that slot. But uh, we'll see. Not in this matchup, but uh, as things go on, we'll definitely see. I, I've already got the cards that I need for this matchup. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just rip those apart before we start playing. So, well, good thing we're at Star City Games where they have a lot of them. Yeah. All right, so guys, make sure to watch the next uh, deck tech because uh, it's a, a D light. It is a D light. It is a. Uh, it's gonna be. This is gonna be embarrassing. I mean, everyone. <laughs> well, so so <laughs> we'll just preface it with. Everyone has been talking about Mono Blue Devotion now that the new Elemental has the, the new Night Bell Spectre. Yeah, Show Crasher. Yeah, Show Crasher uh, has been printed. And this is for you guys. Uh, no, no. I wanted to build this deck. I just forgot Arc Lightning was a card, and it's going to it's gonna be painful. It is going to be painful. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look yeah. at what Mono Blue used to look like. Just go down and click the next video.